we finally have our next roster update coming up here on august 13th and i tell you guys what there is a huge chance to make a lot of subs here if you guys saw our last roster update video we were five for five on our, on our updates and i tell you what we made over a million stubs last update so hopefully this update treats us the same if you guys are new here what we do is we go from silver to gold we do our gold to diamond then we have our thing called diamond the rough which may not be you know a, a card going diamond right now in this roster update but down the line you know it could go diamond that's a it's a good way to make a ton of studs because their buy nows are really cheap right now and that way you guys invest them in the future but without further ado let's get right into it i will preface this beginning one by saying you know there are a ton of cards you know there are cards that will definitely go gold that i will miss but these are just cards that i like the best so far so without further ado our first one will be austin riley the third baseman for the atlanta braves uh as you guys know i mean he, he's been having a really really good year and he's had a really good start to the second half of the season at least since the all-star break he's batting 382 in the last 14 days you know he's not striking out a ton you know he's he's in the ball and play now the one thing with austin riley and this is kind of the, the 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 tale of his whole year is that he hasn't been great against lefties but if you guys are looking at his card right here he's got plus 15 versus uh contact versus lefties and plus 15 uh power versus lefties now, granted, he's not going to get that far of an update, you know, for that. But I do see his, his lefty attributes being boosted. He has been hitting them a little bit better lately. And obviously, you know, his, his right-handed, you know, he's, he's had a very good year there as well. You know, I wish that his defense would be up just a little bit because it would really help out his overall. But I, I think with what he's put together last the last 14 days since the last roster update, I think it's a great shot to go gold. Our next silver gold will be Lance McCullough Jr. He is a starting pitch for the Houston Astros. Right now, he's sitting at a 79 overall. If you look at his card, he's got plus 13 for his hits per nine and his Ks per nine. Now, obviously, he's not going to be boosted up that much. But ever since the All-Star break, he's been very well. In the last seven days, he just had recently had a pretty good start right there. We had nine strikeouts. He did walk three people, which is kind of the downfall of his card. But he's not giving up that many hits either. He's got a 160 average over the last seven days as well. So if we can boost up the hits per nine just a little bit, even the case for nine just holistically over the entire year, you know, he's pitched 104 innings. He's got 124 strikeouts. I think if we can maybe boost up by five to maybe even a little bit more than that. That'll help out his overall. The, the worst part about the card is just walks. He does walk a lot of guys. So hopefully they don't tamper with that. If they can just, you know, mess with the hits for nine and the case for nine, he will definitely go gold. Our last silver to gold will be Jake McGee. He is a closing pitcher for the San Francisco Giants. And, and again, just like anybody else, man, he's he's been amazing since the All-Star break. The last 14 days, people are batting .040 against him. Just looking at his hits per nine right now, it's, it's at an 84. Over the entire season, uh, he's only given up a 164 average against him. And at 84, we, we got to be boosting that. That's got to be a 90, 95, you know, maybe even a little bit more than that. I mean, he could have a major, major boost to hits per nine. His Ks are about about even right there. I I, I think holistically, he's got he's got 50 strikeouts over 47 innings, which I think right there is, is about on par. He has only walked seven guys this year as well in, in, in about 50 innings. So maybe even get a boost that, that, that walks per nine. But looking at his hits per nine, that, you know, it needs to be way up there. And, you know, he has a fantastic shot to go gold. I, I'm telling you guys, he... He is a, he's a very good pick right now to go gold. Before we talk about our first gold to diamond, I will say I only have two right now that I feel really, really confident in. Now, there are, you know, a lot more that can be put in here. We have Harrison Bader just got a diamond card action of the month, and we have Joey Vidal just got the player of the month card. Those guys, you know, they have a chance. I, I don't love them per se, but these two guys that I'm going to talk about here are guys that I really like. And without further ado, we've got George Springer. He's a center fielder for the Toronto Blue Jays. Ever since Springer pretty much got back, he's been hurt. He's been tearing the cover off the ball. He's been insane. Over the last 28 days, he's batted 337. Over the past 14, 362. So he's he's finally started to find his groove here in, in Toronto. And his 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 batting average has, has shown that. Now, the thing with George Springer is he does have a really small sample size. Again, like I said, he just got back from being injured. But against lefties, he, he is batting 311. You know, looking at his stats or his attributes right now, he only has 52 contact. I mean, that's got to get a nice boost right there. He is batting 268 versus righties. I know he's got 62 contact right there. He actually is playing up right now against righties. I know it's not the best, but like I said, he's been doing very, very well over the, the short span of the last two weeks, even over the past month. So with, with that being said, I think George Springer is almost a lot to go diamond E. I, I'm about 90, 95% chance he's going to get there. So make sure you guys go buy him now because his price just continues to go up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we've been here before. We have Joe Musgrove. 
finally, man, you know, uh, leading up until the All-Star break, I don't know how he didn't go Diamond. And then, you know, the the the, the week or two before the All-Star break, absolutely imploded, did terrible. But ever since the All-Star break, Joe Musgrove has come back with a vengeance. In his past couple of starts, you know, he, he's given up a 116 average against him. He's got 16 strikeouts and, and four walks. Like I said, he, he's been very, very good since the All-Star break. One thing I've always talked about is I, I feel like his case for nine should be should be updated right there. I feel like it's always been super underrated the entire year. And I think low if you just put that to like a 75 or you know, maybe even like a 73, that might be enough to get him up there. But again, we're looking at his hits too. He's given up a 195 average over the entire year. And over the past, you know, like I said, 14 days, a 116. If we can boost up to a 90, again, that's just gonna help him out. I really like Joe Musgrove. He was a guy that we heavily invested in for a while, like I said earlier, and then he kind of fell off. But now he's coming back on. So if you guys held into the investment like I have, you guys are going to make a lot of stuffs off of him. All right, so for our first Diamond in the Rough, again, these are cards that I don't think will go Diamond this roster update, but invest in them now because they do have a great future to go Diamond in the future roster updates. And our first one will be Ken O'Graverman. They newly acquired Houston Astro, and he's had a great year. And then since he's been with the Astros, he's done even better. So over the last about 14 days, people are only batting 111 against him. Now, the thing about this card and the reason why I don't see him going down this time is because you guys see his hits for nine, right? It's at 110 right now. It's his case for nine, another problem. So he doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he does get a lot of outs. You know, he's a very effective pitcher, but in the sense of attributes for MLB show, that doesn't always correlate in, in the sense of that way. You know, on, on, on the entire year, he has 41 strikeouts and 37 innings pitched, which is pretty on par with how his case is. If he can, if he can just have you know a week or two where he just strikes out a lot more than, than he usually does, that, that's a that's a great indicator of him going up. I do think his hits per nine can get up a little bit more as well, which obviously helps his overall. Now that's the reason why I don't think he goes diamond this time. But you guys invest in him right now because he does have a great shot in the future. So shout out to all my Cubs fans. Our next one is Chris Bryant. He is a newly acquired San Francisco Giant. And ever since he's been acquired by them, he's been doing very, very well. You know, over the past 14 days, he's batting 350. You know, looks looks amazing. Now, the thing is with Chris Bryant and, and the thing that's been, you know, the problem with him the entire year and why he hasn't gone diamond is against Rice. He has not been great against Rice this year. If, if, if he can... Find a stretch where, you know, he hits a lot of power. He hits a lot of gaps. You know, he gets that batting average up against righties. He is a fantastic shot to go diamond. Obviously, he already has the lefty stuff going on for him. His fielding isn't amazing, which is something I don't really love either. But like I said, you know, if, if he can get going against righties, he'll have a diamond. You know, give, give him a couple roster updates and, and he might get there. And our last diamond in the rough is Randy Arozarena, the left fielder for the Tampa Bay Rays. And, you know... I'm actually really surprised that not a lot of people are talking about him. He's actually at face value right now. You can actually buy him for a thousand stubs because he has been going nuts. I mean, over the past seven days, he's actually batting 636. Over the past 14, batting 412. And over the past 28 days, batting 338. So he's been having a fantastic year. And his, his, his feeling's already there, right? His feeling's already there. If we just continue to get those hitting attributes up, you know, he has been a diamond in the past. It'll greatly benefit him. So just look at his numbers, you know, over the course of the entire year, his numbers are pretty similar for ref lefty and righty. You know, it does correlate within his attributes as well. But like I said, ever since the all-star break, he's boosted those numbers insanely. I mean, we can get like a plus five to almost everything right there. He's getting close to being to a diamond. Like I say, he has been a diamond in the past. So he, he has been there. And just can we get those hitting attributes up there again, just to get him back to that diamond. So that will conclude our video on our next roster update. You know, hopefully you guys can make just as many stubs as I did last time. I'm sure I missed some people. So make sure you guys leave a comment down below for me. Let me know who I missed. Now I'll definitely comment back to you guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you do subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.